Business agility is about consuming services and applications. With more and more SaaS and services being consumed, you don't have to reinvent the wheel to be productive. Google Cloud Private Service Connect is the solution to help you accelerate your consumption of these services in the cloud securely, simply, and quickly. Stay tuned. Services like ERP SaaS applications, database as a service, financial data sets, log analytics, and file sharing have increasingly enabled companies to stay ahead. That trend and the migration to cloud will only continue for enterprises. But diverse services means more complexity. Services all live in different networks and environments. Application developers want to simply connect to and consume each service rather than spend time tinkering with routing tables, IP addresses, and NAT rules. In addition, security has only become more fundamental to all aspects of company operations. Most companies have requirements to restrict traffic to private networks, not allowing public IPs in order to reduce vulnerabilities. Google Cloud Private Service Connect vastly simplifies service connectivity so you can consume services quickly with minimal management. It's a fully managed solution. It lets you set up private connectivity to your own third-party and Google services across networks that belong to different groups, teams, projects, or organizations. If you're trying to set up connectivity for a workload to consume data from services like a GKE Private Master, Cloud Spanner, Cloud Storage, or a financial data set on a private network, PSC lets you simply set up an endpoint from your network and a target service. If you want to expose a service like a log streaming application to be discoverable, you simply set up a service attachment. Private Service Connect enables service-centric networking by creating an abstraction layer on top of our traditional network capabilities to make the network completely transparent. It helps you consume services faster, achieve a service-driven environment, secure your data, and simplify network management. Private Service Connect is secure. Traffic doesn't traverse a public internet. Your services interact like they're on their own private network simple and performant. It takes care of network configuration, so you don't have to worry about routing tables, IP addresses, and unnecessary coordination between teams. You don't need to configure proxies in your network, and it provides line rate performance. Agile. It lets you focus on the service instead of network management, so dev teams are empowered to easily set up connectivity on their own, unburdening network engineering teams. Both teams can independently get up and running and be more productive. For the demo today, I already created all the networking resources, instances, internal load balancer, and cloud storage bucket represented in this diagram for simplicity. We're going to show how a client in the consumer VPC can access a new service in the producer VPC through a private service connect endpoint and service attachment. When the client sends traffic from its source IP to the endpoint, the private service connect will send the allowed traffic from the client IP to another address in the producer subnet where the Private Service Connect service attachment is, then to the internal load balancer forwarding rule to forward traffic to the backend servers. I'll then show the client also accessing a Google API, a cloud storage bucket, through another Private Service Connect endpoint. I'll start with the producer VPC with two subnets. 1002 is the producer subnet that hosts our web servers, then the PSC subnet gives access from the consumer network to producer services being exposed. To show you the routes, I can verify that there is no connectivity from the consumer VPC to the producer VPC, just a default route to the internet. I only have firewall rules that allow traffic from those two subnets, plus the health check ranges to make sure my service is healthy. Now, if I head over to Private Service Connect and then the Publish Services tab, I can see the PSC-Producer service. It's configured to automatically accept all projects and staging-web is my consumer project already connected. This exposed service is the load balancer as a backend with a private IP of 10.02.10. And it front ends our web server instances, which is the service we're exposing. Now I'll show my consumer VPC with a single subnet and different private IP. And I also have no firewall rules set up here on the consumer side. Under routes, there's nothing but the subnet route. I deleted the default route to the internet to show Private Service Connect enabling connection to Google APIs, in this case, our storage bucket. Under Private Service Connect, you can see here there's two connected endpoints. The PSC-Consumer endpoint targets the web servers we have on the producer VPC. 
this endpoint ends in dot 100. The PSCGA endpoint targets all Google APIs. This endpoint ends in dot 111. When the PSCGA endpoint was created, it also created a new DNS private zone with DNS name p.googleapis.com. It doesn't create any records, but you can now use Private Service Connect to target Google APIs using this domain and you get automatic DNS resolution. Next, I'll navigate to the consumer client VM with only an internal IP and I'll SSH into it using Cloud Shell. To show the client using Private Service Connect to reach the web servers in the producer VPC, I'll run a curl command to the web server in the producer VPC subnet using its local endpoint ending in dot 100. And I can see I can access the server. Now let's provide connectivity to Google APIs with Private Service Connect. I can query our storage bucket using the Private Service Connect endpoint PSCGA by doing an NS lookup for storage dash the PSC endpoint name dot p dot Google APIs dot com. And it returns the PSCGA endpoint IP 100.111. I also have my GS util client configured to use this private endpoint. And now I can list the bucket content. Just to prove that's the content, if I navigate to the consumer PSC bucket page in the console, it's the same file. Going back to the consumer VPC's firewall rules page, you can see the PSC dash subnet rule now has a hit count of one because the session I just established. The connectivity between the client VM and producer backends and the storage bucket isn't explicit, but it's enabled by Private Service Connect. It happens privately and securely through Google's backbone network. With Private Service Connect, you can consume services faster and stay ahead of the curve because it's a fully managed solution, meet compliance and keep traffic secure, simplify your network and move to the cloud faster, leverage a strong and growing list of third-party vendors and partners, and get performance and scale to keep up with your growth and the competition. Check out cloud.google.com slash private service connect to learn more and check out the links below for code labs and guides. And remember, optimizing your network means freeing up your bandwidth.